hello welcome welcome to day 67 of our bible in a year challenge my name is sandra i'm gonna be your host for today welcome we are committed to reading our bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time yes you heard me right just less than 20 minutes daily read time please kindly go ahead right now subscribe to my youtube channel Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Let's get started. Day 67, March 8, 2023. 365 days Bible reading, Old Testament, Leviticus 17, Leviticus 18. New Testament, Mark 14, verse 17 to 42. Psalms and Proverbs. Psalm 31, verse 9 to 18. Old Testament and IV version. Leviticus 17, verse 1 to 16. Eating blood forbidden. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and to all the Israelites and say to them, This is what the Lord has commanded. Any Israelite who sacrifices an ox, a lamb, or a goat in the camp or outside of it, instead of bringing it to the entrance to the tent of meeting, to present it as an offering to the Lord in front of the tabernacle of the Lord, that person shall be considered guilty of bloodshed. They have shed blood and must be cut off from their people. This is so the Israelites will bring to the Lord the sacrifices they are now making in the open fields. They must bring them to the priest, that is, to the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting and sacrifice them as fellowship offerings. The priest is to splash the blood against the altar of the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting and burn the fat as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. They must no longer offer any of their sacrifices to the goat idols to whom they prostitute themselves this is to be a lasting ordinance for them and for the generations to come say to them any israelite or any foreigner residing among them who offers a burnt offering or sacrifice and does not bring it to the entrance to the tent of meeting to sacrifice it to the lord must be cut off from the people of israel i will set my face against any israelite or any foreigner residing among among them who eats blood, and I will cut them off from the people. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Therefore I say to the Israelites, none of you may eat blood, nor may any foreigner residing among you eat blood. Any Israelite or any foreigner residing among you who hunts any animal or bird that may be eaten must drain out the blood and cover it with earth, because the life of every creature is its blood. That That is why I have said to the Israelites, you must not eat the blood of any creature because the life of every creature is its blood. Anyone who eats it must be cut off. Anyone, whether native born or foreigner, who eats anything found dead or torn by wild animals must wash their clothes and bath with water and they will be ceremonially unclean till evening then they will be clean because but if they do not wash their clothes and bath themselves they will be held responsible leviticus 18 verse 1 to 30 Unlawful sexual relations. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, I am the Lord your God. You must not do as they do in Egypt, where you used to live, and you must not do as they do in the land of Canaan, where I am bringing you. Do not follow their practices. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. Keep my decrees and laws. For the person who obeys them will live by them.
I am the Lord. No one is to approach any close relative to have sexual relations. I am the Lord. Do not dishonor your father by having sexual relations with your mother. She is your mother. Do not have relations with her. Do not have sexual relations with your father's wife. That will dishonor your father. Do not have sexual relations with your sister, either your father's daughter or your mother's daughter, whether she was born in the same home or elsewhere. Do not have sexual relations with your son's daughter or your daughter's daughter. That will dishonor you. Do not have sexual relations with the daughter of your father's wife born to your father. She is your sister. Do not have sexual relations with your father's sister. She is your father's close relative. Do not have sexual relations with your mother's sister because she is your mother's close relative. Do not dishonor your father's brother by approaching his wife to have sexual relations she is your aunt do not have sexual relations with your daughter-in-law she is your son's wife do not have relations with her do not have sexual relations with your brother's wife that will dishonor your brother do not have sexual relations with both a woman and her daughter. Do not have sexual relations with either your son's daughter or her daughter's daughter. They are her close relatives. That is wickedness. Do not take your wife's sister as a rival wife and have sexual relations with her while your wife is leaving. Do not approach a woman to have sexual relations during the uncleanness of her monthly period. Do not have sexual relations with your neighbor's wife and defile yourself with her. Do not give any of your children to be sacrificed to Molech for you must not profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That is detestable. Do not have sexual relations with an animal and defile yourself with it. A woman must not present herself to an animal to have sexual relations with it. This is a perversion. Do not defile yourselves in any of these ways because this is how the nations that I am going to drive out before you became defiled. Even the land was defiled, so I punished it for its sin, and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you must keep my decrees and my laws. The native born and the foreigners residing among you must not do any of these detestable things, for all these things are done by the people who live in the land before you. And the land became defiled. And if you defile the land, it will vomit you out as it vomited out the nations that were before you. Everyone who does any of these detestable things, such persons must be cut off from their people. Keep my requirements and do not follow any of the detestable customs that were practiced before you came and do not defile yourselves with them. I am the Lord your God. New Testament NIV version Mark 14 verse 17 to 42 when evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve. While they were reclining at the table eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They were saddened, and one by one they said to him, Surely you don't mean me? It is one of the twelve, he replied, one who dips bread into the bowl with me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him, but woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It will be better for him if he had not been born. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. He said to them, Truly I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus predicts Peter's denial. You will all fall away, Jesus told them, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter declared, 
Even if all fall away, I will not. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, Today, yes, tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. But Peter insisted emphatically, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the others said the same. Gethsemane they went to a place called Gethsemane and Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James and John along with him and he began to deeply, he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that I will not fall, so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more, he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Enough. The hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 31, verse 9 to 18. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak because of all my enemies. I am the utter contempt of my neighbors and an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I am forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery, for I hear many whispering terror on every side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies. From those who pursue me, let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Let me not be put to shame, Lord, for I have cried out to you. But let the wicked be put to shame and be silent in the realm of the dead. Let their lying lips be silenced, for with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly against the righteous. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you into God's family. Kindly go ahead right now, send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Thank you for being here today. Again, please kindly go ahead right now, share this video to your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Encourage them to join us every single day as we read our Bibles with just less 
than 20 minutes daily read time. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.